All right, guys, welcome back. Just in, we've got some new information to share with you guys about these Ethereum ETFs. Make sure you guys smash the like button down below. What a week this is shaping up to be if these Ethereum ETFs get approved. Well, we just got some news this morning that uh, I think gets us a little bit closer to Ethereum ETFs being approved this week. Wild turn of events. We've all thought like this was going to get, you know, basically kicked down the road. The same thing that happened with Bitcoin would happen with Ethereum. Well, they are acting way faster than we thought. They're actually taking a page, if this goes through, out of Canada's book, where the Bitcoin ETF was approved, and then quickly thereafter, the Ethereum ETF, boom, back on the table. They want to get Ethereum in the hands of institutional investors, guys. And just in, Standard Chartered Bank, okay, which uh, they have had some unbelievably bullish sentiment about crypto for a while, says it expects the SEC to approve spot Ethereum ETFs this week. Also, just in, about an hour ago, earlier this morning, Fidelity files an updated S1 application for its spot Ethereum ETF. Remember, the SEC is telling everybody who's filing for these ETFs, hey, uh, immediately get these, get these applications in. Meanwhile, we've got Bitcoin hitting 71,000. We've got BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF surpassing 1.2 billion in trading volume yesterday. And uh, all of this in the midst of, again, the SEC asking exchanges to update their 19B4 filings on an accelerated basis for spot Ethereum ETFs. This coming in from Coindesk. Now, guys, as I mentioned yesterday, I want to kind of unpack this a little bit. What this means for the entire industry. It's absolutely massive. This is not only about Ethereum. Obviously, Ethereum has set the benefit uh, for sure, but this to me legitimizes and unlocks the door into the entire altcoin and crypto space. This, I think, helps out Ripple and XRP. I think it helps out all the major altcoins in the top 100 and beyond. And it unlocks the doors, I think, for a bullish cycle to really heat up. We've been waiting for money to shift from Bitcoin into altcoins. And right now we're starting to finally see a little bit of that rotation into altcoins. This to me will undeniably allow people to feel like they can invest in altcoins again. They can get into the space. Obviously, Ethereum is going to benefit a ton, but there will be that trickle down effect from the top dog underneath Bitcoin. So those are some of the updates we have this morning uh, with Fidelity filing its application. And then uh, in addition to that, um, Standard Chartered Bank is basically saying that this thing is a done deal this week. Now, we shall see nothing is set in stone just yet until it's done, right? We're not going to say it's done until it's done. But uh, this is exciting, guys. We are at the precipice, I think, of a bull market kicking off. So I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.